A bearing ring often starts as a steel blank heated in a furnace until it becomes plastic for forging. The hot ring is moved with tongs to the die quickly, because a temperature drop raises forming force and crack risk. Under the press, operators rotate and reposition the ring between hits so material flow stays even around the full circle. Control comes from repeatable inputs. The right starting mass, a stable forging temperature window often 901 to OOC, grade dependent, and consistent reduction per hit. Scale is squeezed out and can create sparks as it breaks off. Keeping the ring centered on the die helps avoid an even wall thickness and out of round geometry. Forging increases density and can align grain flow with the ring shape, which supports fatigue resistance under repeated load compared with many cast blanks. After forging, Rings are typically heat-treated, then machined to final fits and run-out. Release is based on measurable checks dimensions, hardness often 5860 for HRC for many bearing steels, and sometimes NDD for cracks. Which checks are most critical in your program?